Hey everybody, it's Chuck with BMAC and it's time for another Chuck Chat. And I do have quite a bit of preparation when we're ready to record a, a Chuck Chat. And Chris Maas, our uh, video content manager, he's always talking to me and sharing with me some ideas and some thoughts. And, and, and one I thought about a few weeks ago that I wanted to share with you guys now is about loyalty. I see a lot of things posted on LinkedIn and, you know, about loyalty, about, you know, whether that's from the candidates uh, or, or I should say that whether that's from the employee to the company or from the company to the employee. What does loyalty mean? There really is a two-way relationship when it comes in working with a company. And loyalty actually does come from the individual and certainly comes from the company as well. I think people oftentimes, as employees, have this thought that, oh, my company can do whatever it wants, whenever it wants. And, and they, they have that train of thought. And sometimes that train of thought steers kind of the decisions that they make. Well, if they can do that, I can do this. Or they're looking after themselves and I've got to look after myself. And while those things are correct to some extent, as an employee working in an organization, I think it's very important for you to focus on the loyalty that you have and the commitment that you've made into taking that position. And I see all too often now, I think, and perhaps it's even with the younger generation, where individuals after three, four, and even five months, they're itching or they're thinking about, oh, well, what's you know next for me with respect to you know raises or, or next opportunities. And if I don't get it now after three or four months, I'm going to move on. Loyalty is about building rapport. It's about building trust. It's about showing people that you have what it takes to be able to perform in your duty in their current day to day, as well as what you have for the next level. And that takes time. For those of you that itch very early often, I've got to tell you, you need to slow down a little bit. You need to, you know, really take a look at yourself and, and say, what do I need to show to get to that next level? And that doesn't happen overnight. You know, it, it, it's not an easy thing. I know when you get into a company and maybe that company that you're working with isn't giving you a good path or isn't giving you, you know, direction and, you know, you're, you're thirsting for that and, and you're right to do so. But I think what's important is that you know that you need to take time to build just as much as they need time to be able to show you the path. I bring employees on in many different positions and the best that I can from the time that they're hired, I try to show them what path they have to ultimately get to where they wanna be. Because that's important, that would be important for me. But you've gotta have patience and you've gotta be able to show some loyalty in that you're going to be able to carry out and master it what you do day to day. You're going to be able to build bonds and relationships with your coworkers, with your superiors, subordinates, with everyone, so that you can have that trust that people can see you deeper than your day to day, because that's what it's about. If I hire somebody that ultimately wants to get to the next level, it's going to take time for us to recognize their leadership skills, their management skills, their communication skills. That doesn't happen in, in two, three, and four months. So when you talk about loyalty and you get into a position and you accept it, I really encourage those of you that are newly into a position or looking for a new one, spend time developing relationships, having conversations, knowing that it's gonna be a long haul. Don't get into something thinking that there's gonna be a big worldly change oftentimes after a short period of time because sometimes it takes a little while to develop. Now, should you wait three, four, or five years down the road? I guess it would depend the position you're in, and I'm not suggesting that. I just think in a world today where we're moving so fast, you've got to slow down and realize to build bonds, rapport, and relationships, it doesn't move quite as fast as maybe we do from iPhone to iPhone. So it's really something that I want all of you guys to think about building, you know, showing loyalty but, but not only that, it's having patience, building trust, respect, and rapport. And I really feel if you slow down and you work on those things, ultimately you will get where you wanna go and those next steps will be there and those conversations will be had about what your path is for you to be able to climb up the ladder. 
As always, we're looking for people to come on, great, you know, great opportunities at BMAC. As I say it, I won't stop. We're a rocket ship. We need great people. We have cultivated an unbelievable career path, especially for those of you guys that want to get into sales. We've lined it out for you so I can show it to you up front, and then we're going to walk that journey with you and help you get there to ultimately achieve your goals. But not only sales operations and a lot of other opportunities, so as always, whether you join us here on any social media or whether you watch a Chuck Chatter, any of you coming out to our upcoming college fairs, make sure you join the swarm.